is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have a very 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 special video for you guys as you can see we have tons and tons of wwe figures in front of you i've com i've literally filled my entire backstage you guys can see there's where the stage starts to the arena we have filled up the entire backstage with my full wwe elite figure collection this does not include customs we will do a separate portion of customs at the end of the video we're going to go through this pile first i also have some shells because i didn't get down cena i didn't get down triple h and i did not get down randy orton or finn balor i left those guys on the shelf so that uh, we'll just show those before we get into this big pile and then after we go through this entire big pile we will go through my customs and and uh, yeah, this is pretty much going to be my entire WWE Elite Figure Collection for the year of 2018. I know in 2017 I did the same thing, uh, I think two or three days before the new year. So I'm going to keep continue to do that every single year. Uh, my December 31st video is probably going to be an updated room tour. I'll take you guys through the entire tour. Uh, we have some really cool things on the walls. We have updated this place a lot. So it'll be a really interesting thing for you guys to see with all the figures on display and everything. The arena... Um, everything in the room so that will be the big video at the end of the year but I also like to show you guys my full elite figure collection at the end of every year so it's going to be interesting uh, the next three days are going to be some really awesome videos so definitely stay tuned guys and uh, we're, we're going to kick things off I know that this video will probably be close to an hour if not an hour long so just bear with me enjoy the show and uh, let's go ahead and get started so as you guys can see I've cleared off my shelves I have had to go through and clear off all of my shelves so that I could fill them up. The only ones remaining are the John Cena's, the Randy Orton's, and the Triple H's. Down here we have my first row of John Cena's. These are usually kept in this box right here. They're usually kept in this uh, this big box because there's no room on the shelves, but I'll just take you through really, really quick so you guys can see the Cena shelf or the, uh, the box of Cena's is what this is. So we'll just get through this really quick so you guys can see what we're dealing with. I think I have a total of 97 John Cena Elites. I could be wrong about that, but I believe it's 97 when you get you know all the customs, all that, and including these ones that don't have some arms, some don't have heads. Uh, but I could make them complete. I have a whole baggie dedicated just to John Cena parts and uh, stuff like that. So that's the John Cena's. Moving on up, we do have the Triple H's that we're going to go through real quick. Uh, this is pretty much just a timeline from the beginning of his career. Uh, there may be one Triple H in that big old pile over there in the backstage, but I think it's just the WrestleMania 19 Triple H. So you guys can look forward to seeing that one whenever we get to it. But uh, there's the Triple H self. And uh, there were some customs in here as well that I didn't feel like getting down. I just didn't want to take down all these guys. So uh, we'll just take you through them again. Like I said, we have Randy Orton going up here. My second favorite wrestler of all time. Got all his different attires, all the key moments in his career going through. Some customs in here, some Mattel versions, some updated figures, stuff like that. So there we go. I need to uh, get a, quite a few more there because he's like the only one on this shelf that doesn't complete it all the way to the end. Also have a custom Randy Orton pop from my boy Rod. And then going up into the John Cena's, you guys can see the start of Cena's career from uh, his debut. And then we just go through all the different years of Cena. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, it. Again, I didn't want to get all these down. You know, the hats would fall off. The shirts would get all dusty and stuff like that. So I didn't want to... Uh, I didn't want to, you know, get them down and then have to readjust them and everything. So I just figured, why not just leave the John Cena's where they are, leave the Randy Orton's where they are, and uh, leave the Triple H's where they are, and then just put that full box up there so that we could see everything, and then we will be done. So we're almost done. We have one more row. Then we'll go over to see the Finn Balor shelf, and then we will proceed into that massive pile of figures that's going to take a long, long time to get through. But I hope you guys stay tuned and see all of it. I would love for somebody to help me count it. Um, but uh, if, if you don't want to do that, I understand. But uh, I'm going to challenge everyone that's watching this video to count all the figures. All right, guys, so we have went through this entire section. I hope you guys got a good look at everything. Now we're going to go across the room and take a look at Finn Balor. So here are the Finn Balors, guys. Again, I did not want to get these down. You know, a lot of good customs up here. I didn't want to chip any paint or anything like that. So we have, you know, entrance grates. We have customs. We have the ringside exclusive network spotlight. Um, uh, probably a ton of customs. I mean, most of them are cust customs from monthly custom Finn Balor's from Instagram. We have uh, a couple non-demons here at the end. That is the Extreme Rules 
Finn Balor that I'm working on. The rest of those top talents that I got for Christmas are in the pile at the bottom, so uh, you guys will see those later on in the video, but that pretty much does it for all of the figures on the shelves, guys. Now we can dive in to our absolutely massive pile of WWE figures. So I guess we can start off with the man himself. We have this custom fix-up Tommaso Ciampa. I used a Elite Cesaro, and uh, we actually did a surgery video on this if you want to see how that was made. Next up, we have the Elite 57 Ty Dillinger. I did switch the hands, so he has, you know, the perfect 10 hands on there, so that's a beautiful looking fix-up. Also did a surgery video on that one. Up front, we have the Elite 9 Drew McIntyre. This is uh, his first run, obviously. Looks a lot different than he does in today's product. But we have an Elite Drew McIntyre. We have Enzo Amore. I believe this is the Elite 49. His first time in the line Elite. Um, not first time in the line, but it was his first Elite. We have him there. I guess I already see his other figure, so we might as well knock that out. I think it's the Elite 55 Enzo. Is it Elite 55? I can't even remember, but there he is. I like this one better, just a little bit more. His figures were always so detailed. We have a TNF Seth freaking Rollins up front with that screaming head scan looking beautiful right there. Next up, we have the Elite 47.5 Brian Pillman in the nice white boots and tiger stripe shrunks. Speaking of that series, we have the Elite 47.5 Rock. I just threw a necklace on there. Really underrated figure. You can get it for very cheap as well. We have a Elite 45 Seth Rollins with a different head scan on there. So Seth's looking beautiful. Love that figure. Love that attire. We have a Elite NXT Target Exclusive Dash Wilder in this nice navy attire. I hate how small they make these figures. We have the Target exclusive Shark figure, looking great with his blue boots and shark attire. We have the Elite 8 Evan Bourne in the red, black, and white. Really like this figure as well. I'd love to see him return to WWE. We have the Epic Moments Shield 3-pack Roman Reigns with a shirt on there. Beautiful looking head scan on that guy. Uh, we have another rock figure. We have the, is it the, the Defining Moments Rock and Sock Connection Rock without the accessories on him. I think that's what this is. I could be wrong. Maybe it's the Legends Rock. I can't remember. Somebody let me know. We have my Fantasy Attire Fix-Up Custom Dolph Ziggler. And the, uh, all I did was took the Elite 19, switched some different arms on there, put the Elite 48 head, and then, of course, custom painted the trunks. And it's just pretty much a Frankenstein effort Dolph Ziggler. We have a Headless Berserker. We have a Elite 62 Roman Reigns with a different head. I used the head for a custom that you guys will probably see in a, in a later time in this video. We have the Nation of Domination Elite 2-pack Rock figure right here. Uh, continuing the trends with the Rock, we have the Attitude Era Rock right there. Very nice figure. I love the claw jacket we get on here. Really good head skin. Got the chain and the dark uh, uh, sort of slacks going there. Another Seth Rollins. We have the Elite 52 Seth looking great. They ha it has smaller arms because I used the arms for a custom, but it still looks good. We have a headless DDP Elite. We have the Target Exclusive NXT Austin Aries with a missing right hand because I put it on a Jericho, I do believe, but that's a really underrated figure. We have the Elite 11 Miz with, I think that's a different head skin than it came with. I could be wrong about that, but he also has different arms on there. I believe that's Elite 45 Seth Rollins' arms. This is a really nice blue attire. I really love this Miz. Next up, we have the Elite 38 Macho Man Randy Savage in that Slim Jim attire looking great. We have the Elite 38 Roman Reigns figure, and I head swapped it because the original head scan looked awful, and I did not like it at all, but this looks a lot better. Really enjoyed this figure. We have the Network Spotlight AJ Styles with the custom t-shirt from Ring of Clothing. If you guys want to get some done, I also added some knee pads on there. Very nice attire from WrestleMania 33. We have the Elite 63 Dusty Rhodes looking good there. SummerSlam 2017, Seth freaking Rollins in his red and black attire. Nothing done to this figure. NXT Target Exclusive DIY Tommaso Ciampa. If you compare this to the other fix-up elite we saw, it's definitely a lot different. We have the Flashback Series Walmart Exclusive Razor Ramon without his Hawaiian shirt. I think my Elias figure has it on there that we'll probably see later on. But I really like this figure. He had a good effort in the MDT Battle Royal. Next up, we do have a fix-up Seth Rollins Elite Custom right there. It's just sort of a 2018 Seth Rollins when he joined the Shield, when the Shield reformed after SummerSlam. Next up, we do have the Elite 62 Authors of Pain, Ankum and Rezar looking great. These figures are really nice. I think that they are highly detailed. I think they have great head skins on there. If you guys don't own these, you definitely should go pick up the AOP. 
we have the Elite 32 Mark Henry. I could be wrong. It may not be Elite 32, but I know it's an Elite Mark Henry. And mine falls a lot. His ankle joints are freaking terrible, so that sucks. We do have the Elite 36 Stardust. Really underrated figure. Cody Rhodes' last figure with WWE before he departed and uh, made something of his career. We have the ringside exclusive Stone Cold Steve Austin with the best Stone Cold Steve Austin hit scan. That smirking look with the bionic redneck jacket on there or vest with the red color. Very nice figure. Next up we have a headless Arn Anderson. We have a Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite fix up. I put a Jax Deluxe Aggression head scan on there. Fits very well. I think it makes the figure look really good. It's good for figure photography or uh, you know some stuff like that. I really dig the way that Stone Cold looks. We have a ringside exclusive rock figure. When uh, before he where, when he just got on his singles run, you got the you know this is the IC Champion Rock. We have another Elite 45 Seth Rollins. Uh, I think this is complete stock Seth Rollins. Nothing done to it. It's just you know the pretty much exact figure straight out of the packaging. We have everyone's favorite man, the Elite 55 James Ellsworth. Always hated this figure. Never liked it. It looks weird. It's it's just terrible. We have the Elite 57 Scotty Two Hottie. This is a really good figure. Great accessories on this guy. Great camo pants. We also have the ringside exclusive Brian Kendrick, which came with his jacket, and it also had the uh, the flag on there, so this is a really underrated figure in my opinion. Next up, we have an Elite R-Truth looking good. I don't know if this is the Elite 2 or the Elite 10, I can't remember, but it's a really good R-Truth figure. I use it for my current R-Truth, so that's nice. We have the Flashback Series X-Pop with uh, the thug on there looking great. Up next, we have the Elite 38 Daniel Bryan. I believe this shelf warm in everyone's Walmart for a while, but uh, it looks good. Really nice underrated figure in the red attire. We have a fix-up Tyler Breeze right here. This is the TNF Walmart exclusive Tyler Breeze. I switched out his thighs with Bo Dallas, threw on some Chad Gable knee pads, and then some lower legs of Tyler Breeze. So it's just like another Frankenstein Tyler Breeze, but it does look good to a current day Breeze where he you know, switched to the higher shorts. We have a Target exclusive Rocky Maivia debut figure. Love the color on this thing. Really good figure overall. It literally looks just like the rock from head to toe. So really strong Rocky Maivia figure. We have a custom fix-up Elite C and Almas. Really like this. I used an Elite Sin Cara and some Elite Eddie Guerrero, or maybe it was the Los Matador. I can't remember. I think it's Elite Eddie Guerrero arms with a Sin Cara torso and legs. Really works for C and Almas. We have an Elite 48 Cactus Jack figure. Nothing done to this one at all. We have the Elite 55 Big Evil Undertaker. I never had the Elite 18. Even though there's one in this pile, I got it later on. And uh, I never owned that figure, so getting this one was a really big deal. I love this Undertaker so much. We have a custom fix-up 2003 General Manager Monday Night Raw. Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite, really love this t-shirt. And uh, the Hall of Fame Elite really looks good with the blue, the short blue jean shorts. I really like the way this figure looks. We have an Elite 47.5 Gold Dust fix-up. I just switched the head scan. Really like the way this head looks on this body. We have an Elite 53 Miz fix-up. I put this angry head scan on here. It looks really good. Or did I even get it like this? I think I just got this. Someone sent me this in fan mail, I believe. But I really enjoy this figure. Shout out to whoever sent me that. We have a fix-up Elite 57 Seth freaking Rollins. This is before the match. I put the smaller knee pads, put a, a, a knee brace on there, and then put the screaming head scan because he does come with the torch. So that really completes that. We have a Hall of Fame Target exclusive King Booker figure. Love this head scan. Love this figure overall. I used to have it, got rid of it, and then a fan sent this to me. So thank you so much. We have a WrestleMania 30 Undertaker, I do believe. I got his hat and everything. Probably need to keep up with that because you know the hat's going to get lost getting in all these figures. But there's the Undertaker. We have a Elite 57 Trash Corbin figure. We have an Elite 64 Seth Rollins without the head scan because I put it on one of my fix up customs. So, uh, I think I got a basic though to pop it on there, so I will be getting that back together soon. We have the Elite 62 Dude Love. We have a fix up Elite 45 Seth Rollins. During the match, his uh, wristband fell off over here, so this is what he looked like after the match. I also added the smaller knee pads, so you post him with the titles, and that's what he looked like after SummerSlam 2015. We have another Elite 47.5 Rock figure without the shirt. We have a weird fix-up custom Carl Anderson that I just switched the legs on and he looks really stupid, but I think it was just custom fodder parts. We have an Elite 38 Farouk figure from the APA. We have another headless DDP. Is it Elite 51 Mankind? This is not the Amazon exclusive mail-away. This is the Elite 51, I'm pretty sure. 
We have an Elite Seth Rollins without his vest. I think I used it for that 2018 fix-up Seth Rollins, so there you have that. We have the Elite 55 Big Cass, I think, I believe, but with a different head scan. The other one has, like, you know, the big freaking eyes on there where he's, like, all wide-eyed, but uh, I put the red knee brace on there for no apparent reason, but he looks good. We have the Elite 13 Dolph Ziggler with a short haircut. Really love this figure. Dolph Ziggler, love him. WWE Shop FYE exclusive Elite 2-pack Jeff Hardy. We have the Elite 52 Seth Rollins straight out of the packaging. We have a fix-up 2018 Shield Roman Reigns. Just sort of threw an older vest on there with a current day head scan. I believe this is the Elite 8 Undertaker. I could be mistaken, but I think that's what it is. He has the red and white design on the side. Really nice entrance coat and a great elbow pad. Elite 47 AJ Styles, first time in the line. This is his first Elite that Mattel ever gave us. Hall of Champions Target exclusive Batista. I think I have three of these. I'm not completely sure, but I think I have three of those. We have the Elite 56 Jack Gallagher. Love this figure to death. Former MDT Battle Royal Champion. We have another Network Spotlight AJ Styles without the t-shirt, and he has the standard knee pads on there, but still a nice AJ figure. We have a fix-up. No, this is not a fix-up. This is just the Elite 51 Roman Reigns, I do believe. The same set as AJ and Sami Zayn and all that. Really good light blue color on the vest. We have an Elite 18 Rey Mysterio in the LSU colorways, like I like to call it, and that purple and yellow, really strong figure. We have yet again another Elite 47.5 Rock. I have a ton of these for future customs, just haven't gotten to work on them, so you'll probably see a lot of that figure. Another Rock figure, we have the TNF Walmart exclusive Rock, but with a different head scan on there. Don't like this head as much as the original, but I think I got this from somebody in a trade. We have the Hall of Fame Target exclusive Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite. Really love this Elite. I believe this is the way it looked straight out of the packaging. We have the Elite 59 Chad Gable, better than his first Elite, and still a really good figure. I love that attire, and it's just a fresh one. We have the other half of the Revival, Target exclusive NXT Elite Scott Dawson, looking great. Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler, the first time in the line Dolph Ziggler figure without his vest. Really strong Elite though, I love the cheetah print on the wrist tape and everything. We have an Elite Miz, I do not know which series this is, can't remember. Uh, maybe Elite 5, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I, no it's not Elite 5, I'm stupid. We have the Elite 49 Apollo Crews, really strong figure, great articulation, good parts on this guy. We have the ultimate fix-up Kevin Owens with his Vindication t-shirt, and then I just switched all the terrible parts of Kevin Owens on here, so now he's all loosey-goosey and just an awful figure. We have the Network Spotlight Big Boss Man. I use him for security on my show. This is what I like to call selling cigarettes behind the gymnasium, Dean Ambrose. He just looks like a middle school bully or something in this outfit. Uh, I switched his lower legs with John Cena, and he just looks like a moron. We have a fix-up Elite 19 Dolph Ziggler with those terrible arms on there and without any hand tape. Next up, we have two figures. We have my fix-up Elite 23 Cesaro, and then we have my Wyatt Colt Tyson Kid with black kick pads. We have a TNF Seth Rollins with the shoulder switched out so I could put old art arm articulation and then the Elite 45 Seth Rollins head scan on there. And then we have another Elite Rock. I think this is Elite 23 or so, or 17. I can't remember the series, but I don't like this torso with the updated tattoo. He needs to be more jacked than this. Next up, we have the Hall of Champions Target exclusive Rikishi figure. Came with the Intercontinental Championship. Network Spotlight Toys R Us exclusive TJP. Really strong figure when it came out. We have the Walmart exclusive Flashback Series Mean Gene with the red uh, suit on there, a red jacket instead of the blue one because my custom figure actually wears that. We have the Elite 6 JTG. Really rare figure, really good, even though mine has this weird leg thing. I don't know. Weird. We have everybody's favorite, the Elite 16 CM Punk, really strong figure, got the Chicago colorway, white elbow pad, beautiful t-shirt, really, really strong figure. We have the Elite 10 Kane that I got from my boy Christian Hoffman on Stable 1047, go follow his channel, We're looking really good, love this Kane figure. We have this weird custom Miz thing, this is the Network Spotlight Vince McMahon, and then I tried to make a referee out of him like an idiot, even though he towers over all my figures. I don't know, I'll probably make him into somebody in the future, maybe NXT, uh, MDT, or something like that. We have yet again another Elite 47.5 Rock figure. I think we've seen Rock a million times already, but uh, maybe we're almost done with those, I'm not sure. We have an Elite 26 Ultimate Warrior in his pink singlet with the nice yellow and stuff like that. We have a custom Los Guerreros Elite Chavo Guerrero that I made using the Los Matadores Elite 35 Elites. Uh, I have an Eddie to match. I think it's right here. So you guys can go ahead and take a look at the uh, Los Guerreros from the early 2000s. Really like these fix-up customs. Uh, I still have not removed the tattoos off Eddie's back, though. We have a couple 
of Batistas right here. We have the Elite 33 Blue Tista, and then we have the Elite 30 uh, Black Tights Batista. Really cool figures. Got the Jiu-Jitsu logos on both of those. We have another Miz figure. We have the Elite 3, the first time in the line Miz. And he had a terrible haircut back then. And what the hell was he wearing? Look at those shorts and everything. My God. We have a Elite Kofi Kingston that uh, has some weird parts. It's like two Kofis put together. I think I was using different parts from different figures. And I just decided to switch them. So that's why he looks all weird. But yeah, there's that. We have an Elite Jack Swagger. I think this is the Elite... 30-something or late 20s, maybe Elite 26, and I switched the arms, the head, and he has Legends Eddie Guerrero boots for some reason. We have three Seth Rollins figures. We have the Epic Moment Shield 3-pack Seth with uh, painted knee pads that I fixed up. We also have an Elite 45 Seth Rollins with the accurate knee pads, and then we have a TNF Seth Rollins that is actually headless, so uh, there's three Seth Rollins right there. Next up, we have the other half of Crime Time. We have the Elite 7 Shad. Now we have the complete uh, Crime Time. They're actually on the MDT Live roster, but they don't they do not do anything. So that's kind of disappointing. Uh, maybe I was mistaken. Maybe that other Roman Reigns was a custom. Or no, that was the Network Spotlight. This is the Elite 62. So I'm a freaking moron. This is the Elite 62, and I'm stupid. Speaking of Roman Reigns, we have the Elite 45 Roman Reigns, and then another custom rock. And I think this is the Defining Moments rock with the purple outline of the gold. Continuing on, we have the Hall of Champions, Johnny Gargano, Target Exclusive. Really disappointed in this figure, man. They failed me on parts choice with that guy. Uh, next up, we have the Flashback Exclusive, Walmart, uh, Ultimate Warrior in the red, white, and blue. Really strong figure there. We have another Rock figure, so I guess we're continuing on. I think it's the Elite 31 Rock with the jogging pants. This is the Hollywood Rock where he, you know, sang about Vicky Guerrero, I do believe. And then we have a fix-up Elite 47 AJ Styles with the Elite 56 AJ Styles kick pads and actual accurate knee pads on that guy. Here is the other big cast, and I fixed this thing up. I put some bigger arms on there, widened his, put the widened eyes on here, and the reason he's wearing this jumpsuit is because he's in the Wyatt Colt in my pick fed, so that's why he looks so crazy. I actually like the way he looks right here, really strong looking guy. Next up, we have the masked man that's been running around MDT Live causing havoc, so uh, you guys can figure out who that is. We have the NXT Target exclusive Roman Reigns figure. Really weird looking head scan, but this is back when uh, he was... I think he was still Roman Reigns, but uh, in FCW he was leaky and really good looking figure. I like the, the, the logos that this guy used. And he looks crazy uh, then, but I think I like his look now a lot better. We have the Elite 57 Jeff Hardy with his Reborn by Fate t-shirt on there. Was really hyped for this figure when it came out. Still a really strong figure. We have the ringside exclusive Hardcore Kane with a head swap. I think I put the WrestleMania Heritage Kane head scan on there, so I really enjoy this Kane figure. That's why he looks this way in the pick fed. We have an Elite 56 Roman Reigns with the Elite 45 head scan on there. Love this attire. It's the fast lane attire, I do believe, where he wore the Nike boots instead of his normal boots. We have another Mark Henry in his all uh, red attire. I think I like this head scan better for Mark Henry, but uh, I don't know. Really strong figure, though. We have an Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler. Second time we've seen this figure, but it does have the vest on there, so I like this one better. I just think it completes it with that vest. Another Elite 8 Undertaker, except this one doesn't have the entrance thing on there. Still has the elbow pad, still looks strong, but it does not have his little entrance vest. We have the Top Talents 2018 AJ Styles from his match at WrestleMania 34 with Shinsuke Nakamura. Very boring matchup, but not a boring figure. Looks great. We have the Donate a Foot Rey Mysterio Elite. This is the Elite 5, I think, or Elite 1. Now, this is Elite 1 Rey Mysterio, but he has a bum foot. He still has not gotten a foot donated to him. For just 10 cents a day, you can donate a foot to Rey Mysterio and help him walk again. A couple more figures here. We have an Elite Undertaker. Do not know which series this is, but he does have the Grey Demon stuff um, on the side there. And then we have another Hall of Fame Stone Cold without knee pads. We have the Elite 62 Braun Strowman figure. Really like this one. Uh, it's got the true effects, but it's not much different. And then you have the really cool looking boots. So, updated Braun Strowman. We have a weird fix-up Kalisto. This is the Elite 42 Kalisto, but with Elite 32 Rey Mysterio legs and then Elite... Uh, Kalisto boots. So it's just a weird Frankenstein effort, but we have Kalisto. We have the Vindication, Mr. Money in the Bank, Adam Cole, with his Bullet Club t-shirt and his Bullet Club Money in the Bank briefcase. So, uh, beautiful looking Adam Cole. We have the Elite 33 X-Pac, really strong figure, came with the European Championship. We have probably my favorite Undertaker in my collection. This is a fix-up. I used the Elite WrestleMania 32 figure as the base, and then I head-swapped it with the basic 74 Undertaker head scan, and then threw the uh, 
hat and jacket on there and it really is the best Undertaker. It's pretty much a different version than the WrestleMania 35 Undertaker. Really strong figure. Just represents Undertaker so well. We have the Elite 61 Tyler Breeze. Really like these pink tassels. We have the Elite 12 Justin Gabriel. This is uh, what everybody used to make Finn Balor before Finn Balor had his official figure. I can kind of see the resemblance in the head skin, but a lot of people love this figure. Really old one. We have the Elite 64 Kurt Hawkins. It's time to face the facts in the blue attire, not the Chase variant. We have a custom build a figure Vince McMahon. This is supposed to be Paul Heyman, but I just switched a Vince McMahon head scan on there, and it, I think it works pretty good. We have a NXT Target exclusive. NXT, what are you, a stupid moron? This is a Hall of Fame Target exclusive Ultimate Warrior. We have the Elite 60 Giant, or Giant Machine, Andre the Giant. We have the Elite Lost Legends Undertaker, but I like to call it the Elite Lost Legends Undertaker Spinneroony because he is literally a fidget spinner. Look at that. We have a Elite 56 Roman Reigns again with a Elite 45 head scan again because I always use that head scan to make customs and it's the same exact figure as you saw before. We have Elite Victor, I believe. No, this is Elite Connor. This is Connor and he wears the sheet mask because like Big Cass and Tyson Kidd, he is a part of the Wyatt Colt in my pick fets, so uh, that's why he is wearing that get up. We have a beat up WrestleMania 30 Bret Hart. We have an Elite 61 Fandango, really strong figure even though the torso is way too jacked. We have a Elite Bushwhackers, I think this is supposed to be from the Bushwhackers Legends 2 pack. We have some fan mail right here, like a custom looking Jinder Mahal weird thing. We have the Elite 36 Bo Dallas. Elite 51 Roman Reigns again, and the Elite 24 Dolph Ziggler with some smaller arms, and the Elite 39 head scan. Really like the way that figure looks. We have another Elite 33 Blue Tista, and another Elite 33 Blue Tista. We have, I think this is my Elite Undertaker fit. No, this is this is the Elite 32. So this is the Elite, no, not Elite 32. This is the Elite WrestleMania 32 Undertaker. Um, just basically out of the packaging. Then we have a Elite Stone Cold. Can't remember which figure, but it is an Elite Stone Cold. We have the Ringside Exclusive Edge with a different head scan and a custom shirt thrown in there. I think it really completes the figure. We have the SummerSlam Elite Matt Hardy with a different head scan, so it is a fix-up. We have another NXT Target Exclusive Dash Wilder. Elite 24 Rey Mysterio. Really love the way this figure looks. It looks really good. I love that Days of the Dead attire, so he looks great. We have another Elite 47.5 Brian Pillman, but with black boots instead of the white this time. We have another Elite 52 Seth Rollins, except with a smiling head scan. I believe my boy Rod sent me this. And then we have another Elite 31 Rock. We have a WrestleMania 31 Heritage Undertaker figure from his debut, I do believe, looking really strong. We have the GameStop exclusive Honky Tonk Man, the first Honky Tonk Man Elite that I've ever owned. We have the ringside exclusive CM Punk, really strong figure, came with the ECW title and an ECW microphone, really like that attire. We have the best Samoa Joe Elite ever, and it is the Elite 64 Joe, got the, got the painted on elbow pad, t-shirt, molded red leg, I mean, how can you beat this? Look at that head scan. We have the Elite 61 AJ Styles in the beautiful United States Championship attire. No knee pads on there yet, but I need to fix that up. We have the Elite Four. I don't know if this is the variant or just the regular Elite Four, but it is a fix-up John Morrison. I had to switch out the head scan. I think I put uh, Macho Man glasses on there, but it's a really strong John Morrison figure. We have the Elite Four Kane, which is probably my favorite version of Kane as far as uh, his figures go. I just love the way this figure looks. I love that head scan with the, the stitch tights and everything. That early 2000s look of Kane is just the best. We have a Hall of Champions Target exclusive Undertaker from when he was a tag team champion with Big Show. Really like that attire. We have an NXT Target exclusive No Way Jose. I put an R-Truth t-shirt on there. Had to paint over that so you couldn't see it as well. But it really does complete No Way Jose. Makes him look like a bad A. We have the Elite 59 Jason Jordan to match his tag team partner, Chad Gable, or former tag team partner. We have a fix up best of pay-per-view build a figure CM Punk. I put a custom shirt on there from my boy and uh, put a different head scan on there. I think it really makes the figure look a lot better. We have a ringside exclusive Flash Rey Mysterio. I think this is probably everyone's favorite Rey Mysterio figure between this and the Days of the Dead. I think this one's very strong. We have one of the best fix-ups in my collection. It's this best of pay-per-view Randy Orton with Elite 35 arms, 
um, regular hands and then uh, I put the uh, basic head scan on there really completes it and then of course the custom hoodie really brings it together here is one that I really love it is my custom bloodline elite Roman Reigns I used an elite 54 Jimmy Uso I think and then just switch the torso with Roman Reigns switch the arms put a Roman head scan on there and then of course put the vest on there and it completely what a bad a looking figure even put the gauntlets on there beautiful looking Roman Reigns we have a Top Talents 2018 Seth freaking Rollins with custom t-shirt. I fixed this thing up. I put the SummerSlam on, arms on there because he did rock these same uh, gauntlets or wrist things as uh, when he wore this attire on Monday Night Raw. So I think that makes the figure look a lot better. We have the entrance greats Jeff Hardy, one of my favorite figures of the year. I love the face paint. We waited a long time for this figure, so I'm happy to have it. We have a headless defining moment sting. We have an Elite 48 Boogeyman, really underrated figure in my opinion. We have an Epic Moments, Jeff Hardy, Return to WrestleMania 33. Really strong figure, one of my favorite figures. Another Hall of Champions Target exclusive Batista. Elite 20 CM Punk, and if you're wondering why he is wearing this vest, it's because he defeated AJ Styles at Sold Out. MDT Sold Out, so he took his vest and he's wearing it like a, like a charm. We have a Fix Up Roman Reigns Elite with a brown vest. We have a Defining Moment Stone Cold Steve Austin with everything but the camo jacket. We have a Elite 38 Bradshaw, another headless DDP. We have the WrestleMania 31 Heritage Kane figure with a head swap. I head swapped it with the ringside exclusive Kane to give it the more accurate red color. Fix up Stone Cold Steve Austin Hall of Fame Target exclusive Elite, white knee braces, custom t-shirt, and custom chain. Survivor Series Elite Walmart exclusive AJ Styles with the blue vest. This was sent to me by my boy Rod. Thank you so much, bro. We have the other version of my Roman Reigns Bloodline Elite, and this is the white version. I have two different versions. Which one do you like better? Do you like the white version or the red version better? Let me know down in the comment section below. We have a Fix Up Dolph Ziggler Elite 24. I put the Steel in the Show t-shirt on there, switched on a different head scan, smaller arms, World Heavyweight title, and you have a beautiful looking Dolph Ziggler. We have a beat up Seth Rollins. This is what he looked like on the last episode of MDT Live. He literally got destroyed he's got a black eye he got cut up uh, he's just been taking a lot of punishment on MDT live we have an elite 48 Eric Rowan in the black attire I like this one a lot more than the first version we have a custom fix up elite Aiden English I threw some uh, some different scarves on here from Elias and Chris Jericho and uh, beautiful looking custom fix up Aiden English speaking of uh, Elias, we have his Elite here, the Elite 60 Elias with the custom shirt from uh, Razor Ramon that came with his Walmart exclusive figure. I think that really makes this figure pop a lot more. We have another first time in the line, Elite 47 AJ Styles. We have a fix up, Elite 57 Seth Rollins, got the accurate knee pads, knee brace, and then this is after the match where he defeated Triple H at WrestleMania 33. We have a basic right out of the packaging Elite Walmart exclusive TNF Rock. Attitude Era Stone Cold University Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite. We have two of the brand new Elite, uh, is it Elite 60 New Day? I think, yeah, it's Elite 60 New Day. We have Xavier and Kofi. I painted his hair accurate right there. We have an Elite 123 Kid. I think it's Elite 41. We have the Elite 5 Chavo Guerrero with uh, Cody Rhodes boots on there for some reason. I think I used his boots to put on the uh, Los Guerreros figures. We have the Elite 11 Rey Mysterio or Elite 13, can't remember, but really good looking figure nonetheless. Another Elite 61 AJ, but it does have the knee pads and I threw on the camo vest and then of course cut the hole in his knee pad. Really makes this figure look a lot better in my opinion, just those small little accuracies that you add. We have the Elite 45 Bubba Ray Dudley. Wish they would give us flashback Dudleys. We have the other half of the Ascension or the Wyatt Colt. You have Victor from the Wyatt Colt. Elite Target exclusive Hall of Fame 4-pack Big John Stud. Another member of the Wyatt Colt, we have Elite Sheamus. Don't know which Elite Series this is, but uh, Sheamus looks good there in the Wyatt Colt. We have the Elite 27 RVD with the custom t-shirt, and it is a fix-up. I put smaller knee pads and then, of course, added that smiling head scan. Love this head scan to death. And then the RV F&D shirt is beautiful. We have a custom fix-up Cody Rhodes. Used the uh, handsome Cody Rhodes face, took off the mustache, added this custom shirt, put some basic arms onto a Elite 32 Cody, painted on the belt, Put on some Carl Anderson legs, changed the uh, KA to CR, and then added Heath Slater boots. Sort of a Frankenstein effort there, but that Cody Rhodes is nice. We have an Elite 19 cane, I think. I don't know what series this is, but it's a really cool looking cane figure. We have uh, two different versions of the FYE WWE Shop Exclusive Elite 2 Pack Hardy Boys, Matt Hardy. Which version do you like better? Do you like this version with the hair down or the hair up and a ponytail? Let me know. 
Next up, we do have another Elite 33 Blue Tista. We have an Elite 64 Seth Freakin' Rollins, one of my favorite figures of the year. And then we have a WrestleMania Elite Rey Mysterio. Wish we got a punk from that same matchup. Next up, we have another Elite Kane, another Elite 10 Kane at that. Looking great. Uh, is this the Elite 26 Roman Reigns? I think this is his first Elite ever from Mattel. I think they did a good job on that. And we have another Elite 31 Rock without the pants this time. We have the entrance great Shawn Michaels, not even an elite, I just put the uh, entrance thing on there, really looks it, makes it look nice. We have the Elite 20 Chris Jericho, really love these tights in the pink with the best in the world on the butt. We have one of my least favorite figures ever, it's the ringside exclusive Kurt Angle with, uh, yeah, just, just awful stuff. Next is the Elite 37 Seth Rollins. Nothing done to it except for smaller knee pads and then I switched on the arms and made him have the gloved look. It makes it look a lot better, more accurate Seth Rollins. We have an Elite 61 Tyler Breeze with the actual t-shirt on there. Elite 39 Umaga. Elite 58 Sheamus. I actually like this figure a lot. It looks really good in my opinion. I think that this is probably the best Sheamus Elite out there with the straight face head scan and the black and red attire. It's just really, really nice. Next up we do have the WWE Shop exclusive. Jeff Hardy. We have another headless DDP. I wonder if we'll find one with a head on it. Only time will tell. We have a Elite 23 Undertaker. We have a Elite 53 Heath Slater. Really enjoy that figure. I have an Elite 40 Sami Zayn fix up with a different head scan, the freaking shoulder thing because he hurt his shoulder, and then of course his black hat. Walmart exclusive flashback series Shawn Michaels in the white attire. Really like this figure a lot. We have a Defining Moments Undertaker uh, fix up. For some reason, he has the short WrestleMania 30 looking head scan. And I don't know, it just looks weird. I think somebody sent me the body and I just plopped the head on there. Elite 45 Devon Dudley. This weird custom CM Punk best of pay per view that I just painted and then it's just fodder now. We have the Elite 61 Fandango and the Elite Hall of Fame. Roddy Piper, or the Legends Roddy Piper, I'm not sure which one that is. We have another SummerSlam 2017 Seth freaking Rollins. We have this Fix Up Elite 11 Rey Mysterio with uh, basic arms and mask. I was going to paint this like a different color, maybe like an off black to have like a black dual tone Rey. Uh, still haven't gotten to that, but I probably will one day. We have a Fix Up WrestleMania Heritage Undertaker. We have another Elite 57 Jeff Hardy with the beautiful back tat on there. We have an Elite 20-something Damian Sandow. Not sure which Elite that is, though. Moving on here, we have the NXT Target exclusive Alexander Rusev. Not my favorite Rusev Elite, but not a bad one at all. We have my custom Elite Dolph Ziggler that he wore. It sold out. It's the Seen Enough custom. You guys can see there on the butt, it does say Seen Enough with a custom hoodie on there. Really enjoy that Dolph Ziggler. We have the Toys R Us exclusive Network Spotlight Shawn Michaels and the Blue Zebra Stripes. We have a, I think, Defining Moments, I think. Yeah, I think this is the Defining Moments Stone Cold from his last match. Uh, the one more round with uh, The Rock at WrestleMania. We have a custom fix-up cash-in CM Punk figure right here. And this is obviously the moment where he cashed in on Edge. Uh, you got the no chest tattoo, beautiful looking trunks. You got the World Heavyweight title on there. Beautiful looking CM Punk, really like that one. We have another Elite 45 Roman Reigns figure. We have a custom Elite Sandman, and I actually used his t-shirt for something, so now I don't, I don't own it anymore. It's pretty saddening. We have the GameStop exclusive slash ringside exclusive Chris Jericho in the gold colorway. Beautiful looking head scan on that guy. We have another exclusive WWE Shop 2-pack Elite Hardy Boys Matt Hardy. We have an entrance great Jeff Hardy with a custom shirt and a fix-up. I used the Elite 57 head scan on there and that makes it look like a non-painted Jeff Hardy. We have one of my favorite figures of the year in the Elite 59 Kurt Angle with his Team Angle attire and a custom jacket. This is not the one he came with. This one fits him better. It looks a lot better. We have a WrestleMania 30, WrestleMania 14 Shawn Michaels in the DX red attire. Love this figure. Love the head scan. We have a Elite 53 Rhino, I think. Still has blood on his face. I did switch out the shoulders because they were massive, but there goes that. We have an Elite 43 fix-up Kevin Owens. I did switch out the head scan because I like this head scan a lot better for Kevin Owens. We have a custom fix-up Seth Rollins, Elite 45. I threw white gloves and uh, wrist things on there. I don't know, sort of. Uh, I had so many that I just figured why not throw some white gloves on him. I think it looks pretty cool. We have another Elite 20 CM Punk with a white elbow pad and a nice haircut. We have a Walgreens exclusive fix-up Shawn Michaels. Threw some uh, Battle Pack lower arms on there. Custom t-shirt. His hat's in here somewhere. Um, I think I just found it. Let's go ahead and throw this on there. I think I put it on backwards, and boom. Now you have a beautiful-looking Shawn Michaels fix-up. 
and I think that's a different head scan. Yeah, that's not the ponytail head scan he came with. My God, how many do the of these do I have? I have another two-pack Matt Hardy. Random sheep mask from one of the Wyatt Colt members. Ringside exclusive Chris Jericho from WrestleMania 18. We have the Elite 61 Big E New Day America attire. Another Elite 60 Kofi Kingston. Elite 1 MVP, really like this figure a lot. We have the Elite 52 Kofi Kingston, I think. Is this the Elite 52 or is it Elite 53? I can't remember. We have the Elite 41 Ryback in the blue and orange attire. We have an Elite 54 Bray Wyatt, definitely the best Bray Wyatt figure to date. Love those pants. And I'm actually ready for Bray Wyatt to return to WWE. We have two different Elite Rey Mysterios. Can't remember the series, but one of them has the glove mold and one of them just has black hands and no wrist tape, but beautiful looking Rey Mysterio. Next, we have a footless Elite 38 Farouk. We have a beat up Epic Moment Shield 3-pack Dean Ambrose with a custom shirt. He also has a bloody face. He's got a white elbow pad. He also has some shoulder or kinetic tape that I painted on there um, from Cesaro. He's got a black eye. He's just beat up to hell because he's from the pick fed. Uh, he got his A kick just like Seth Rollins did. We have the Attitude Era Chris Jericho Elite with switched on better knee pads, so that's more of a fix up there. We have the Elite 41 Big E, I can't remember. We have the entrance greats, Bill Goldberg from WCW, came with the big gold championship, looking really strong. We have the Elite 8 Edge figure, really enjoy this Edge figure. We have an Elite 56 AJ Styles fix up, uh, I put the right knee pads on there, painted up the gloves, you know, the little details there. I think I may have added um, the black belt as well, and then of course a custom t-shirt. We have Elite 53 Kevin Owens, looking very good. We have a fix-up Battle Pack Roman Reigns Elite in the red vest. We have the original Elite 12 Kane figure. Everybody loves this. This is uh, a beautiful looking figure. I'd love to see a debut Kane with the uh, two long sleeves. We have the Elite 35 Luke Harper. I think it's Elite 35. Can't remember. We have an Elite 1 Edge fix-up with the uh, pissed off head scan on there. I love this figure. We have the Target exclusive Rocky Maivia debut with his actual entrance gear on there. We have another Attitude Era Stone Cold University Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite. We have a TNF Sami Zayn Elite Walmart exclusive with all his accessories on there. We have an Elite Defining Moments Shawn Michaels from his match at WrestleMania 25 with uh, The Undertaker, but I did put on a bearded head scan. It makes it look a lot better in my opinion. Speaking of Undertaker, we do have a fix-up Undertaker here with the long brownish red hair. He's got open elbow pads. He's got the long pants on there. Really nice little fix-up for Undertaker. We have the Elite 21 Rey Mysterio, but this is a fix-up. I switched out his hands and gauntlets for uh, one red side, one blue side. Sort of like a Harley Quinn looking. You see you got red over here, red over here, blue over here, blue over here. Same thing with the mask and the bottoms of the cuffs there. I really thought that that Rey Mysterio was pretty unique. We have the uh, Toys R Us exclusive New Day 3-pack Big E. And then we have the Defining Moments Chris Jericho from Vengeance. We have a Elite Stone Cold, can't remember which series. We have the Elite 11 Christian. I think this is the only Christian Elite I have in my collection. Beautiful looking shirt on there though. We have a fix-up Shawn Michaels from the Elite Lost Legends series, but I did put an older looking head scan on there. I need to switch out the arms for white wrist tape arms to make it more looking accurate, but uh, still a really cool Shawn Michaels. Speaking of which, we do have a couple of them right here. We have the Walmart exclusive flashback series, and then we have the Elite Lost Legends. I don't think this is the Elite 19, but uh, uh, it's the Lost Legends if it's not the Elite 19, so that works there. We have another Elite 61 Big E in the America tire and his entrance gear. We have a Elite 47 Kevin Owens, but this is his uh, a different head. No, this is the right head skin. Nothing done to this figure, just the basic Elite 47. We have a Elite Lost Legends series Chris Jericho in the purple and light blue attire. We have yet again another Hall of Champions Target exclusive Batista. We have an Epic Moments Festival of Friendship Kevin Owens in the long pants. Speaking of Festival of Friendship, we have a couple Chris Jerichos. We have the Defining Moments again, and then we have a debut Custom Elite Chris Jericho. We have the Main Event Raw Ring Goldberg Elite, you know, from when he returned and went on his Universal Championship run. We have Elite 59 Zack Ryder fix up. I think this is Elite 59. Uh, I can't remember, but I did switch on some bigger arms and then added some Elite 9 boots. I think that really completes Zack Ryder. We have a Elite 42 Xavier Woods in the blue and white and black attire. And we have a fix up Hall of Fame Target exclusive edge with a better head scan and a better body mold. What else we got right here? We have quite a few Dean Ambrose figures here. We have, uh, well, this isn't Dean Ambrose. This is a fix up. Uh, 
sort of promo attire uh, edge with a custom shirt. And then we have three different Dean Ambroses. Psych, two of them are the same. We have two Elite 41 Dean Ambroses, and then we have an Elite 48 Dean Ambrose. I like this pants color a lot better, and I like this torso better for Dean Ambrose. But there you have Dean. I call him Dean Mean Machine Ambrose for some stupid reason here on the channel. But here we have Elite 52 Big E with uh, black wrist tape arms on there. We have another Hall of Fame Target exclusive Stone Cold with a necklace and uh, I did add black wrist tape. And then we have an Elite 9 MVP in the red attire. Which one you like better, the blue or the red? We have a couple Seth Rollins back here. Let's see, uh, we have the NXT Target exclusive Seth Rollins with smaller arms, smaller legs, and smaller knee pads. And then we have an Elite 52 Seth Rollins with, for some reason, some Elite 37 Seth Rollins arms. We have the Defining Moments, really underrated Ministry Undertaker. I think he looks so badass. This uh, figure is highly detailed and, uh, excuse me, this entrance gear is really sick. I love the details they gave us with this figure. I think not enough people gave it enough credit. Uh, next up, we do have an Elite WrestleMania 33 Heritage Shawn Michaels with smaller knee pads. We have another flashback uh, series Walmart exclusive Shawn Michaels and then of course another SummerSlam Matt Hardy. We are getting there, we are getting there. We have still, you know, a, a, a pile here, but we're, we're, we're making some progress into the dent. We have another ringside exclusive Rocky Maivia figure. We have the brand new Elite 63 Fix Up Sami Zayn with a Yep 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 t-shirt. We have an Elite 61 Kevin Owens. Do not like this head scan, but I do like the figure overall. We have the WrestleMania 34 Elite WrestleMania 33 Kevin Owens. We have two members of the Toys R Us New Day 3-pack with Kofi Kingston, Fix Up with a black sleeve, and then Xavier Woods. We have two different versions of Daniel Bryan. We have uh, Team Hell No, and then we have his singles version, and for some reason I put his Battle Pack head skin on there. We have the Elite 43 Ke uh, Kofi Kingston in the blue, black, and white. We have another Elite 59 Kurt Angle with the blue jacket this time instead of the red. I think it really makes it look nice. We have the Epic Moments Festival of Friendship Chris Jericho with his scarf on there, no hat. We have four really strong figures. Let's go ahead and scoot them up here. We have the Elite 64 Target exclusive Pete Dunne figure. I think I'm one of maybe 20 people that have this so far. Can't wait for 2019 and this figure releases. And then we have my Undisputed Era Elites. Uh, all three of them will have the armband pretty uh, pretty soon. I know both of these do. I did that fix up on action figure surgery. I'm going to add his armband in probably the next episode of action figure surgery, but all three of these guys look incredible. Some of my favorite figures of the year. We have a Elite TNF Walmart exclusive Jason Jordan. We have the Elite 58 or the top, I think it's the Elite. No, it's the top talents Braun Strowman figure. We have uh, the first set of Uso Elites, the first time in the line. I think this is their, not first time in the line, but this is their first pair of Elites. I think it's the Elite 31 Usos or Elite 30, can't remember. We have the Raw Tag Team Champions, Chad and Chad Gable and Bobby Roode. This is the entrance grade to Bobby Roode and the TNF Chad Gable. We have the Elite 54 Usos, and I did switch their shoes and the head scan on Jimmy because Jimmy's head scan was so bad. Um, I had to switch that out, and I did switch their shoes with the new Elite 64 Uso, so they're all white. I love the way these came out. We have the Epic Moments Milko Mania Stone Cold Steve Austin with the WCW Alliance t-shirt. We have a Fix Up Elite 16 Rock with a custom shirt with no Velcro and pants. I really like the way that Rock figure came out. We have the Elite 53 Chris Jericho with his scarf on there. We have the Elite SummerSlam Dean Ambrose, Dean Mean Machine with his t-shirt on. We have this custom Fix Up Elite Rey Mysterio in all white attire. I made this custom made. I took the Elite 11, I think, acetoned all the black off, threw some basic arms and head, and then put some white shoes on there, and you have an all white fantasy attire Rey Mysterio. We have the Elite 56 Samoa Joe, which probably used to be the best Elite, but now that the Elite 64 came along, this one no longer holds the throne. We have a weird custom Fix Up Cesaro with a bunch of different parts. And then we have an Elite Undertaker, not sure which figure, if you guys want to let me know. It's got R.I.P. Paul Bearer on there, and it's got the yellow, it's probably a Mania attire, I'm not sure. We have a Fix Up Elite 30 Batista with the Hall of Champions head scan on there, if he grew his hair back out. We have an Elite 36 Gold Dust, or Elite 29, I think. We have the Elite 63 Walmart exclusive Bob Backlund Elite figure. We have the Elite 43 Samoa Joe with his towel. We have a custom Carl Anderson in short shorts. We've never gotten this Elite before, but I made this a long time ago before we got the Elite 56. We have an Elite Big Show in camo attire and pissed off face. 
Continuing on, we have the Elite 58 Dean Ambrose with the dark jean color. We have a custom, not custom, what are you, stupid? I think this is the Elite 33 Seth Rollins. I'm not sure. Maybe it's the Walmart exclusive Shield 3-pack Seth Rollins. Um, I think that's what this is as well. I have a couple of those. We have another 2-pack Elite Jeff Hardy from WWE Shop. We have the Elite 58 Matt Hardy in the green pants. I love that one a lot. We have a Defining Moment Sting figure with nothing wrong with it. I do, I would like to switch the arms and maybe the head scan on here and do a fix up with that. We have another Defining Moments Ministry Undertaker. We have a fix up of the Elite 57 Jeff Hardy. I put the entrance grades head scan so you have a shirtless face painted Jeff Hardy. We have a fix up Brock Lesnar custom. If he were to go back to his trunks look, he has the, you know, the sword on his chest there. And I really like that fix up. We have the Elite 1 CM Punk with nothing done to it. It does, you know, have some paint chipping there. That's unfortunate. Need to fix that somehow. We have the Elite 2 or the Elite 10 or Truth. Can't remember which one it is, but it is a nice Elite. We have the Elite 63 Golden Standard Chase Variant Shelton Benjamin. Really enjoy that. We have another Undertaker. We have uh, his tights look, but he still has the entrance coat. And really love these coats. They're very, very nice. We have my boy Fig Skip sent me this in fan mail. It's a white fantasy attire Sami Zayn with custom t-shirt. I really enjoy that. We have an Elite 63 just basic Shelton Benjamin. This is without anything done to it. This is my second or third one of that. We have a fix up Jason Jordan that I think Fig Skip sent me as well. It's this shirtless Jason Jordan fix up. We have another TNF Chad Gable. We have this Authority Kane figure, which his legs are elite, but his chest is not. We have my custom Luke Gallows that I made out of the battle pack and an Undertaker figure. Really like the way it came out. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. This was before we got, you know, our Mattel Elites. Um, here it is up next to the Mattel version. I think it still looks pretty freaking good. Um, but Mattel's is so nice. I loved those figures when they first released. We got the Elite 48 Sin Cara in the black and pink. We have an Elite 56 Carl Anderson with t-shirt. We have a Gold Dust in the Wyatt Colt, but this is not, uh, he's not in the Wyatt Colt, so I don't know why he's wearing that. We have a Fix Up Epic Moments Matt Hardy head scan on an Elite 58 Matt Hardy. We have another Elite 56 Luke Gallows without his entrance coat. We have another Elite Big Show in the blue and black camo instead of the green. We have an NXT Target exclusive Shinsuke Nakamura before he got a good head scan. We have the Elite 62 Sting with a massive torso, but I really like the tights. The white tights look so beautiful on Sting. We have the ringside exclusive Brock Lesnar. Here comes the pain. Freaking gorgeous looking figure. We have a Defining Moment Sting with his coat on there. Another sheet mask from the Wyatt Colt. A Bash at the Beach 3-pack Walmart exclusive Sting in the green boots. A Milko Mania Epic Moments Kurt Angle. I love this figure. I think the shorts and the molds and the head scan and everything they use for this is beautiful. We have a GameStop exclusive Retro Macho Man in the USA attire. We have the Elite 61 Shane McMahon, I believe, from Hell in a Cell. I did switch out the head scan, though, because the one it came with was not very good. And we have the other Defining Moments Great American Bash Sting with the massive torso. We have an Epic Moments Matt Hardy with the Elite 58 head scan. We have the Elite 27 Kofi Kingston with t-shirt. I think this is straight out of the packaging. We have the, I think it's the WrestleMania Kofi Kingston with the bigger arms on there. For some reason they gave him these, but I like the way Kofi looked in the shorts or the trunks, whatever you want to call it. I think this is really strong. We have a Elite 21 Ryback, I think, or Elite 14. Can't remember which Elite series that is. We have an Elite 59 Chad Gable again, and then we have an Elite 55 Neville figure. Really love this head scan. Almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting there. We are getting there. I think this is a Elite 52 Xavier Woods. We have an Elite 18 Undertaker. There it is. It is pretty beat up, though. Need to get a new one. We have a fix-up custom Bobby Roode before we got one from Mattel. We have a, I think, Network Spotlight Dean Ambrose with a swapped head scan. We have my custom promo attire, Brock Lesnar with the screaming head scan. Love that way that looks. We have a SummerSlam 2017 Seth Rollins again. We have an Entrance Greats Kurt Angle fix up with uh, red uh, boots, red and white boots, and uh, different medals on there. I think that looks a lot better than the original. We have an Elite 63 Dean Ambrose with the uh, George Washington wooden teeth head scan. We have an orange Roman Reigns fix up Elite. 
We have a Money in the Bank fix-up Dean Ambrose with black hand tape and Intercontinental Championship since he's the current Intercontinental Champion. We have the GameStop exclusive Destroyer Samoa Joe in the yellow and black. We have the Elite 9 fix-up Zack Ryder which looks really odd with those big arms. We have the Elite 57 Shinsuke Nakamura with the uh, still not the right head scan but still decent little figure. We have the TNF Bash at the Beach 3-pack Walmart exclusive Macho Man. Another entrance greats Kurt Angle with the other medals and white boots. This is how it came originally before I fixed up the other one. We have the Elite 50 Shane McMahon. with uh, This is from his WrestleMania match with The Undertaker. We have a couple of the Top Talents 2018 Finn Balors that I was talking about earlier in the video. We have an Elite 39 Dolph Ziggler fix-up with smaller arms and a better head scan. We have an Elite 57 Seth Rollins straight up out of the packaging. We have an Elite 5 Rey Mysterio, I think that's what that is. Elite 48 Dean Ambrose with a different head scan on there and the regular t-shirt. Elite 58 Dean Ambrose with the t-shirt on there instead of shirtless. We got the ringside exclusive DX Shawn Michaels and the Elite 4 Kofi Kingston. I really like this figure, even though the head scan's not the greatest. It's not too bad, but I really like this attire and the wrist uh, bands and everything. Really strong Kofi Kingston Elite. We got another Elite 64 Kurt Hawkins figure. We got the Elite 50 Trash Corbin with a custom t-shirt on there. Another Elite 55 Neville with the nice head scan. And then another Elite 59 Jason Jordan. We have a work in progress Kenny Omega custom that I uh, need to do for a client. We got an AJ Styles Elite 47. I think this is the Elite 51 Sami Zayn with a different head scan. Or maybe this is the TNF with a different head scan. Can't remember. We got the Elite 36 Dean Ambrose. We got the Build-A-Figure JJ Dillon figure Walmart flashback series. We got the Elite 39 Sting figure from his red attire. I really like that figure. Haven't taken the jacket off, I think, since I bought it, so that's kind of crazy. We got a Elite Cesaro fix-up off of the Elite 58 figure. We have a WrestleMania 32. Here comes the Payne Brock Lesnar Elite. I think this is the WrestleMania uh, Kofi Kingston figure in the Ghostbusters attire. We have a custom Zack Ryder that BEW made the head scan for. It's just sort of a put-together parts figure. We got the TNF Walmart exclusive 3-pack Elite Dean Ambrose. We got the Chase variant Elite 64 Kurt Hawkins looking really good. We got another Elite 36 Dean Ambrose. We got the Hall of Champions Target exclusive Road Dog. I think this is the only one from the set that I have. I need to get the Billy Gunn and the, the Ultimate Warrior and the rest of those guys. We have the GameStop exclusive rocker Shawn Michaels in the beautiful looking rainbow attire. We have a fix up Stone Cold Steve Austin Hall of Fame ex uh, Target exclusive Elite fix up with a custom t shirt. We have our other version of Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. This is the versions where they're not really with the Undisputed Era. This is just sort of their uh, non armband attires. I made two different sets of those. We have the first Elite Dean Ambrose, I do believe. I think this is his first Elite. Can't remember the series. We got the GameStop exclusive Brock Lesnar with a uh, better head scan on there because that original head scan was terrible. We have the WrestleMania 35, WrestleMania 18, Triple H in the purple trunks. We have the WrestleMania 35, WrestleMania 19, Scott Hall, or is it 18 Scott Hall? I can't remember. It's where he fought Stone Cold. Um, then we have the Elite One Rey Mysterio without the bum foot. This is actually the good version. We got the ringside exclusive Matt Hardy, came with the ECW Championship, got the painted on knee pads, really strong figure in the camo. We have another top talent, Finn Balor. We got the ringside exclusive Shane McMahon, I got this for Christmas, I really enjoy this figure. We got the Elite 63 Shinsuke Nakamura, probably the strongest Shinsuke figure by far, I love the head scan, looks great with the US title, though he's not the champion anymore. We have another Dean Ambrose, I think that's his second Elite. We got the Hall of No, we got the yeah the Hall of Fame Target exclusive Elite Sting from his match with Triple H. We got another top talent Finn Balor. We have uh, the Elite 26 Roman Reigns or Elite 30, can't remember the series. We have the Elite 63 Kane figure with a different head scan. I didn't like that the mask wasn't molded on, so I switched that head. We have another TNF Seth freaking Rollins. We have a variant of the Chris Jericho Elite Four. I don't know if the blue version or the purple version is the variant, but very strong figure nonetheless. We have an Elite Two Batista, one of my favorite Batista Elites. If you put that Hall of Champions head scan on there, it's absolutely perfect. We have an Elite 16 Rock figure, which is the perfect rock in my opinion. 
We have the All Stars Elite CM Punk, and this is a fix up. I put the long bearded head scan, the white elbow pad, and smaller knee pads on there, so it looks really good now. We have a fix up Bobby Roode, and this is the other half of that Chad Gable. He's got the Raw Tag title. He's got the, or maybe this is the NXT figure. I think this is the NXT Target exclusive with white boots. We got three more Top Talent Spin Balors. You guys know I got a ton of these for Christmas, so uh, there's more of those. And the last two figures out of this extremely massive pile is the Elite 9 Kofi Kingston and the Elite 56 Carl Anderson. We finally reached the end of the pile, guys. Now we have a few more things to get through. We just have the customs, and then we will be finally done with my full WWE figure collection. All right, guys, we are in the last portion of the video. Now I'm going to go through the champions of my pick fed because I didn't want my custom championship belts to get damaged. Then we're going to get into the customs, and we will be done with my full collection, guys. But here is the MDT champion, John Cena. Um, again, I, I didn't put these figures in there because I didn't want to get the championships dirty or uh, damaged. We have the extreme champion, Kevin Owens. That is the Elite 61 with a different head scan on there. We have my MDT United States champion, Shelton Benjamin. That is the Elite 63 with uh, fixed up knee pads. And I believe the last two champions, the tag team champions for MDT Live, are these two. And they are the Usos. From the Bloodline with Roman Reigns, we have the MDT World Tag Team Champion, Usos, who just claimed those championships, so those there are them guys. Then we go over to the other side of things. We have uh, Vindication's Champions, and that is the Elite Champion, Kenny Omega, right here. That is his promo gear, by the way, so we have Kenny Omega. We have our Iron Man Champion, that is Rusev. That's the Iron Man Championship looking good right there. We also have the Revolutionary Champion, which is the Miz. That's the Elite 53 Miz right there with a fix-up head skin. And then the Tag Team Champions for Vindication side of things is the Young Bucks. So the Bullet Club running wild over there with the Tag Team Championships with those zebra stripes. Absolutely love those. So that does it for my champions, guys. Now we can get into strictly just customs in my collection, and then uh, we will finally be done. So hopefully we can knock through this, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. First up, we do have my boy Cedric Alexander, made by BEW with the Cruiserweight Championship. Love the way that figure looks. We got my boy Tyler Bate with a different head scan. Didn't like the way Mattel's head scan looked. Not my favorite head scan right here, but definitely a lot better than the one Mattel gave us. We have my custom Elite Jinder Mahal. And all three of these customs were made by BEW, if you can believe that. We have my WrestleMania 34 Shinsuke Nakamura with the gold belt and armbands made by yours truly. We have a custom... Elite Alistair Black, made by Mad Reaper Studios. I love this figure a lot. He also hand-painted the back tattoo on that one, so Alistair Black looking beautiful. We have probably my three favorite custom figures in my entire collection. We have the Elite George Washington, and this was made by BEW, or at least the head scan was. The rest was made by me, but I wanted him to have that old-school look. So we have George Washington. Uh, he's going to be part of the Index T division on MDT. We got Teddy Roosevelt. And then we have uh, Abe Lincoln. So we got the Founding Fathers. That's their stable name. So we have those beautiful figures. Love those. Just the George Washington is so effing sick. We have a custom Elite Shelton Benjamin that I used to use before Mattel gave us our own. We have a custom Elite Leo Rush way before he came to WWE. He used to be my favorite independent talent. Um, we have my GM of the MDT Live. We have Eric Bischoff. Custom fix up there with the Money in the Bank briefcase. We got uh, a promo attire Dolph Ziggler made by Mad Reaper. He's even got Converse's on there and skinny jeans looking good with his ponytail. Got a few Dolph Ziggler's here. We have a Money in the Bank 2017 Dolph Ziggler with the zebra stripes attire. A couple more Ziggler's here. We have his 2016 SmackDown Live attire and then we have his Live Event attire that he wore in 2017, I believe. He's got the longer hair there. Really love that light blue color on that doll. We got a custom MDT Dolph Ziggler right here with, that was made by BEW and Venomine. And then we have a Money in the Bank 2016 Dolph Ziggler with the blue and black. Really love the way the blue pops off. Uh, continuing on, we still have quite a few more Zigglers here. We have Fastlane 2017. 
I think, or 2018. I think it's, I, I don't remember. And then we have uh, Extreme Rules 2016, where he defeated Tresh Corbin on a roll-up, I do believe. Continuing the Ziggler trim, we have a SummerSlam 2017 Dolph Ziggler here. And then we have a No Mercy 2017 Dolph Ziggler right here. Really love this uh, bubblegum color, and then the, the silver always looks nice. We got a fix-up of the cash-in Dolph Ziggler, where he cashed in on Alberto Del Rio. And then we have a 2016 Dolph Ziggler attire, that DZ crew. We have a custom Elite Marty Skrull with uh, the white umbrella on there. He is using the pick fed. He's on the Vindication brand. We have an old AF AJ Styles custom with a torso that I wish they would use for AJ, but they don't, so that's unfortunate. We have a custom United States Championship attire Roman Reigns that I made myself. We have my Bad Blood 2003 Triple H custom that my boy Jesus made me. I love this a lot. A couple more Roman Reigns here. We have an all black attire, and then we have an all white and gold attire. I really love these. Both of these were made by myself. A couple Seth Rollins here. We have a 2018 Money in the Bank. Uh, Seth Rollins with updated head scan, and I finally added the chest hair, and then we have a fantasy attire with pink on um, just added to the TNF figure. Really like both of these. We have two more fantasy attires. We have one made by myself on the left. This is my blue fantasy attire, Seth, and then this one I made on 2K, and then my boy Burnout Inc. brought it to life with the white, blue, gray, and black. Really sick looking attire. I guess we had one more Dolph Ziggler. We have my one from uh, my boy Rod. He made this custom MDT Ziggler, and then we have my custom El Generico Elite made by BW. We have my legit custom Trash Corbin by Fig Skib that I love. And then we have my custom Elite Kenny Omega that I made myself. It's a fantasy attire. You can see on the side it's lime green. It's got Kenny and a skull. It says the cleaner. And then on this side it does have the Bullet Club Elite logo. And on the kick pads it does have some stuff. Really like the way that Kenny came out. And then you gotta love Trash Corbin. We got a few Seth Rollins customs coming up. We have a Elite 37 custom with the uh, accurate 2014 look of Seth. And then we have the moment where he won the Money in the Bank. So these are pretty much the same except this was a mid-match moment where he captured the Money in the Bank briefcase. That's why he's screaming. And then this is obviously when he turned on the shield and went with the authority. A few more sets here. We have another 2014 look where he went more black. He added the SR logo to the front. And then this is the moment where he cashed in on Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Fixed it up a little bit. Continuing the set trim, we do have the uh, 2015 attire with the black entrance vest looking great with gold trim. And then we have his 2015 Slammy Award winning look with the suit and tie and the knee brace and everything. Really like both of these. I thought we were done with Dolph Ziggler, but here is a uh, Money in the Bank where he actually captured the Money in the Bank. And then we have a heel Daniel Bryan custom. Here's a couple Chris Benoit's. We have more of a later 2000s look here with the full reel. It's like 2005. And then we have a 2004 with the uh, WrestleMania 20 attire. I love Chris Benoit. Didn't love what he did though, but um, very unfortunate and sad situation. We have a custom Royal Rumble 2017 Seth before we got the uh, the official Elite 64. And then we have a SummerSlam 2018, or maybe I said, I said it wrong, Royal Rumble 2018 and then SummerSlam 2018 with the Thanos boot Seth Rollins. Then we have a WrestleMania 34 Seth Rollins with that Game of Thrones attire. And then we have the Monday Night Rollins attire before we got the uh, top talents. We have my favorite Neville in my collection, this custom by BEW and myself. He made the arms, knee pads, and head scan. I did the rest, and then uh, he made this Kurt Angle in this beautiful looking attire. Next are a couple Lita customs, the only women's customs in my uh, whole collection. We have a rated R version right here on the leg uh, when she was running around with Edge, and then we have a Team Extreme version from her days with the Hardy Boys. We got my custom Elite Santa Claus, and then we have my custom Elite Goldberg before we got the official Mattel ones. Next is a Elite Tamatanga custom made by BEW, and then we have a custom by Showstopper Custom Figs, Kurt Angle. Next we have a couple Jerichos. We have a Royal Rumble 2000 one and then a Jericho from 2005. Really love these tights. Two of my favorite Jericho attires of all time. Two more Jerichos for you guys. We have a Elite Lost Legends fix up added with a tattoo and then we have another one of his early 2000s attires. Love that green X attire for Jericho and the sideburns. I believe this is the last of the AJ Styles. We have my fantasy attire AJ Styles from Sold Out. I took the Elite 51, painted it white, added light blue trim with black details and then we have my New Japan Bullet Club AJ Styles with a uh, the less accurate torso and height, but you know, it's still a pretty decent custom. That was like when I first started customizing, so that's why um, it's not the greatest, but it's not a terrible effort at all. Next are three different Jeff Hardys. This is using an official Mattel one. I made like one of his TNA attires, and these two were made by Brocklock before we got a Jeff Hardy. 
I thought that, you know, we'd never get one. Then he returned, and then uh, these are pretty much useless now, but they're still pretty solid customs, in my opinion. Moving on here, we do have two more Edge customs. Two more. It's just two Edge customs. We have when he cashed in on John Cena at New Year's Revolution after the Elimination Chamber, and then we have his WrestleMania 21 attire where he actually captured the money in the bank. You pair these with Lita, and uh, they look good, or at least this one, but uh, I love... The uh, tights designs on this one, really strong edge customs. We have another Jericho, it's from his early 2000s days, late 90s, and then we have a Team Extreme Matt Hardy that's pretty loose, but it's still a really strong custom made by Showstopper Custom Figs. We have a Custom Elite Hurricane made by me using an X-Pac, he even has the H's on the side there. And then we have a Custom Elite Drew McIntyre made by BEW, probably uh, the best Drew McIntyre that I've seen out there. I think it's even better than the one that Mattel's going to give us but uh, I guess we'll only see when that thing releases. We have another custom Kenny Omega. The attire he wore is sold out. And then we have a custom elite Bobby Trashley. Next up, we have a number of Kevin Owens customs. You got, you know, all of his different looks through 2017 and 2016, I believe, maybe the end of 2016. But I know for 2017, for a fact, you got Money in the Bank, Hell in a Cell, and Survivor Series in there. A couple more customs. It's just decal work, pretty much, just acetone. There is some paint on some of them but uh, there is some Kevin Owens. Next, we have five more Kevin Owens, so 10 custom Owens here at the end of the video. You got his uh, Ring of Honor days on the far left, then you have uh, his NXT in the middle. You got SummerSlam 2017 in the red, then you got the red prize fighter, and then, of course, you have his KO America attire with the KO with the flag in there, and then we are moving on to our final four customs of this video. And the last four customs that we have, guys, are of these Batistas. We have uh, two in Evolution. We have uh, when he broke away in singles. I think this is fantasy. I don't I don't think I uh, actually got that from anything. I think I just made that up, the black and gold. And then this one is sort of uh, his current look, but with his older uh, trunks. I used the Elite 2, and then I put his updated detail uh, tattoos on his leg, the boots, and I uh, custom painted up a head scan to what he currently looks like uh, in real life. So that is finally it. Mercifully, we have finally reached the end of my full WWE Elite Figure Collection, including customs, including things that are on display right now. I, you saw I took down every single figure and showed you guys what I had. Um, there are a ton of figures everywhere now. I have to show you guys what we're dealing with here. Um, we literally have all these customs here in the backstage now. We have this pile of figures. We have figures up here. And then we have this massive mountain of figures on the floor. And uh, we still have our Finns, Johns, Randy Ordens, and Triple H's on display. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. I know it was a very long video. I apologize for that. I tried to cut down as much as I could. But that pretty much does it for my entire WWE figure collection of 2018. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm, uh, I thank you guys so very much. If you watched this from the very beginning of the intro all the way to the end, congratulations to you. I challenge anyone out there to actually count all the figures. I also challenge anyone out there to watch this all the way from the beginning to the end. If you did, thank you so very much, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Um, if you were not a part of our channel in 2018, then I highly suggest you hit the subscribe button so that we can forge on to 2019. It's going to be a wonderful year of customs and figures pick fetting, all kinds of great stuff, guys. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. I'm going to clean this mess up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.